I'm very happy because I don't really root for teams. I've told you this. I root for people. Uh, I root for people especially, I know. And San Francisco got Trey Lance, and I thought it was the right move. Um, I just felt, honestly, it made me really happy. I felt sick yesterday going into the draft. I love John Lynch. I cover John Lynch. He used to be a, a co-worker at Fox, and I love the Shanahans. Don't know him well, but love him. And I was just sick to my stomach that Kyle Shanahan, super smart, He's the star of the franchise right now. He'd fallen in love with Mac Jones, and it just got horrible press when that story leaked. I mean, awful. Nobody liked it. And even if Mac Jones would have had some success, and I think he would have had some success, nobody was going to ever buy into it. And then they were going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo because that would at least validate playing Mac Jones. And instead, they didn't. And they'd have low-ceiling Mac Jones who I think is a nice fit in New England, but against Russell Wilson twice a year and Kyler Murray twice a year and Matt Stafford twice a year, he would be the least athletic, smallest in terms of arm, dynamic playmaking ability. I just felt sick to my stomach, and instead they did the right thing. They drafted the bigger, stronger, more athletic, significantly higher upside in Trey Lance, They're going to keep Garoppolo, according to stories this morning, until the wheels fall off. They should. There's no reason to trade Jimmy until Trey's ready to go. You gave up a second-round pick for him. That's nothing. You already won that trade. You don't need to win that trade twice. All the rumors, all the conjecture, and two smart people, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, did it right. Look around the NFL, folks. I mean, it's nice that Phillip Rivers got to the playoffs. But you got to have a quarterback who can move a little. The rules are different now. Offensive lines generally aren't as good. You need some athletic ability. And Mac Jones will be nice in New England. But as we, as we all slobbered over Mac Jones and how great and how brilliant and how smart he was, i got to give ESPN credit. Booger McFarland came out yesterday during the draft, and he did something that I really liked. He went and showed the five times last year that Mac Jones didn't have perfect protection. He couldn't outrun defensive tackles. Booger did a good job. He's like, yeah, this is what happens when the Alabama pass protection breaks down, you know, four times a year, and he couldn't move. And, oh, by the way, do you understand that the Rams, the Seahawks, and Arizona have three of the top five pass rushes in the NFL, and they got better because now J.J. Watt's in town? Like, whoever took, whoever the Niners took was going to succeed. That's not really the question. But the pressure on Mac Jones in San Francisco would have been relentless because you gave up so much for him and because this is a Super Bowl roster. Okay, and I kept hearing this. Well, he's a good fit for Kyle's system. Okay, I get that. I do get that, and I can defend that. But Kyle Shanahan's 0-2 in Super Bowls, and he had guys that were perfect fits, pocket guys. Maybe if he had a quarterback that was a little more dynamic, he'd be... 2-0 2-0 and in Super Bowls and not 0-2. To move up to number three and give up all those picks is not just about getting a guy who fits. It's about elevating the position. It's not about safe. He fits. He's safe. Well, then go to the third round, fourth round, and get a Kirk Cousins. When you give up that many picks and you go to three, Brother, you got to swing. You got to take a big swing on a quarterback talent, not play it safe. And again, Mackle, Mackle work in New England to the level he can work. The ceiling's low. But I entered yesterday thinking, oh, this can be awful. Because say what you want. The fans matter and the media matters. And when they're all against you on a pick, I've been watching the media. I've been in it for 30 years. There's two ways to write the same story. If they hate your pick, not only you can win and they won't give you they won't give you credit. You have to win big for years until the media acknowledges, all right, maybe maybe you were right. It was just gonna be an avalanche of ugly. And every time Mac played against Russell Wilson, you're gonna be like, Russell's running around making plays, and then Kyler Murray's running around making plays, and Matt Stafford's got the golden arm from above. And you got you got Mac Jones. Now you took a big swing. Now you validate moving up. Made me very, very happy.